Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is 22523. I've just installed it on my computer. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, what is improved, and also what issues were fixed in this build. Some quick things that you need to note about this build is that this build will also be offered to ARM64 PCs. And also, this is the final build for 2021 for the dev channel and most likely for any Windows 11 channel or release. So this is a smaller update, but hopefully in 2022, we will see more interesting features and um, a lot of new things added that are requested by users. Hopefully we'll have a better operating system starting with next year. Also, another thing that you need to note is that Microsoft is providing ISO downloads for this build and that link will be in the article down below in the description. So if you want to download the ISO for this particular build, go ahead and download it from there. Before starting to talk about the changes and improvements in this build, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated if you like these videos where I show you a brief presentation of what is new in every Windows 11 build. And we are also closing into 20k subs, which is an insane milestone to reach. And I thank you all of you guys who sub to my channel. This year we had an insane grow on views and subscribers and hopefully we'll continue that with next year. So now let's begin with this video. First of all, Microsoft rolled out snap groups in all tab and task view for all Windows Insiders in the dev channel. For those of you who don't know, this was added a few builds ago, but only to a few users in the dev channel. Now it is available for everyone. So now we should have the snap groups and all plus tab and also task view as well. In the file explorer, we have a new option here. If we click on these three dots, which is connect to a media server and also remove media server option will be now available if you click on these three dots. So as we've talked about a few builds ago, Microsoft is trying to slowly move all the settings from the old control panel to the new settings app. So in this build, links to programs and features in control panel will now open to settings, apps and installed apps. So if we go into the old control panel and click on programs and features, we will have the installed apps section from the new settings app, which is kind of sad maybe because this means that the old control panel is slowly losing settings and we've used it for so many years but i think it's time that we upgrade and we move on to the better design and better categorized if i may say so settings layout also regarding to this microsoft is moving on install updates for cumulative updates from the old control panel to a new page in settings under settings of course windows update and update history so here you have all the updates installed and you have the related settings on install updates, which you can use in order to uninstall updates. This was on the old control panel. Now you can find it in the new settings app. This is really, really cool in my opinion. These are all the changes and improvements in this build. As I've said, it is a smaller build because holidays are coming in. And I think that a lot of the Microsoft dev team members are taking their breaks. So that's why I think we have a smaller build as the final build of this year. But now let's talk about fixes for a bit. Microsoft fixed an issue related to text input initialization that could lead to the shell, for example, start menu and search becoming non-responsive or on our ARM64 PCs. The battery icon tooltip should no longer unexpectedly show percentage above 100. That was pretty funny when I first saw that. And also in the right side, app icons should no longer overlap the date and time on secondary monitors when there are a lot of open apps. Regarding File Explorer, Microsoft did some work to address an issue that was leading to losing keyboard focus sometimes after pressing enter when using F2 to rename OneDrive files. We also have a few fixes for the spot like collection which is not available for everyone so basically a few fixes regarding to that after enabling spotlight collection your first image should arrive a little faster now and they also added icons to the spotlight collection context menu entries i'm going to try to make some research and see how we can install this spotlight collection thing on any windows 11 computer because it is only available to certain countries regarding input microsoft improved the reliability of invoking voice typing they also fixed an issue where the border of our text 
text input experiences wasn't drying correctly when a contrast theme was enabled, and they also mitigated an intermittent crash with the pen menu process if it was launched and then immediately closed before the launch happened. Regarding widgets, Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing links to not open properly when opening the widgets board using Hover. And regarding settings, settings content should no longer get truncated off the side of the window when making the settings window small. Settings should no longer sporadically crash when opening combo boxes, which was impacting certain settings such as the ability to set custom click actions for the pen. They also addressed an issue where the add a device option in Bluetooth and devices was silently crashing when trying to connect new Bluetooth devices. And they also added a number of keywords to make the voice access feature appear in settings search results. And we also have a few other fixes. They also fixed an issue that was causing ARM64 PCs to experience bug checks citing a memory management error in the previous flight. And they also mitigated an issue leading to certain apps hanging when the radar was running. So that's all there is to it in this new Windows 11 Insider preview build 22,523. As I've said, this is the last build for the year 2021. It was an incredible year. As I've said, we've had many new interesting features and things in Windows 11. Of course, a lot of things that were removed, but hopefully starting with next year, Microsoft will listen to the feedbacks from the feedback hub, especially more and more, and we should have a great operating system. As I've said, don't forget that in the article down below, you're going to have info about the known issues and of course the download link for this builds ISO. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel. As I've said, I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.